Hello and welcome to a stadium that has a wonderfully old-fashioned feel to it, Goodison Park. I'm Derek Ray, joined here in the commentary position as always by Lee Dixon. And very much looking forward to bringing you action from the Premier League. It is Everton up against Manchester United. Yeah, thanks Derek. All that work in the week, all that chat in the dressing room, all that stops now. It's put your game face on, get down to it. I'm really looking forward to this one. Well, Manchester United know how to finish ruthlessly. In fact, they have the best goal-scoring record in the league, Lee. Well, Derek, the away fans are quite happy to follow the team because they know they're going to see goals. Top scorers, top creators, top entertainment. And here's how Everton line up. If you like wingers, you'll love this league. Yeah, absolutely. I love to watch a winger play, especially with pace and power. The central striker will stay more or less in front of the goal. The support will be provided by the three central midfield players. The back four is pretty conventional, but the full-backs will be asked to support from behind. Thank you, Goodison Park. Enjoy well, the Well, Manchester game. United have chosen this particular shape. What do you think about this particular setup? Well, strikers like support, and they've got support today in the number 10. They've also got three midfield players behind, two slightly wide, and one just sitting in front of the back four. Look at Dinia. Here's Gabama. Alan. Sigurdsson. Calvert Lewin. There's a slide rule pass. It might be. There it is. A delightful start to this match. Just what they were hoping for. Well, here is the replay. And to be fair, the keeper from that distance hasn't got much chance of keeping it out. Lovely goal. Underway once more, Manchester United have hit the front. Gabama. The ball with James Rodriguez. Not a very good challenge, and he skips past his man. Possession changing hands. Showing a real desire to win it back. Sigurdsson. It's with Alan. Real chance. Surely. And it's in. All square again. What a match this is turning out to be. Well, we can see here it's a good finish, but really it's all about the concerted pressure beforehand. Really disciplined, working as a team to force a mistake and regain possession high up the pitch. Then they take full advantage. Given away by Manchester United. It is a decent looking attack here. The referee knew that was foul play, but advantage it is. Happy to pass the ball, but remaining patient. Alan. Can he finish? Well, the attack showed promise, but easy work for the keeper in the end. Right, let's change gear, because a goal has been scored at Villa Park. Alan McAnally can tell us more. It's a goal for Liverpool. 22 minutes played, 1-0. Regular updates from Alan McAnally along the way. Well, his first touch let him down, but still he has the ball. Alan loves to attack from the wide areas. And the referee has pointed to the spot. A penalty it is, and a chance for them to forge ahead. Penalty given, and yellow card handed out.
Who would be a manager, eh? Not me, that's for sure, Derek. Keeper getting the touch. And in the end, no damage done. Wesley. Giannis Hadji. The pass could do damage. There to win it back. Really closing him down. And a good looking ball. Giannis Hadji. Top class defending. And news coming through of a goal on the Leeds United match. Alan McAnally. It's a second goal for Arsenal. It's been scored by Pierre Emerick Aubameyang. He didn't know much about it. The defender hit it straight at him and it came off his knee and in. He'll claim it though. 35 minutes played. 2 0. Many thanks, Alan. And can they exploit the space out wide? Very alert defending to cut off the supply. This might be ideal for the counter. And he's through here. Excellent defending, but the chance is still on. Passing it around, looking for the goal that would put them ahead. Take it away. Hadji, not showing good defensive judgment. There will be one minute added on at the end. On the offensive. Big chance. It's still alive. Applying vigorous pressure. Still looking to get the shot off. A oh, tremendous block. The first half here comes to an end. As anticipated, plenty of talking points so far. And now the second half is underway. Oh, he's given it away. And the advantage accrues to the attacking side. Nicely timed tackle. And it crossed the touchline, so a throw in here. Sigurdsson, Gabama, Alan. He made it look simple, really. Right, let's change gear because the goal, the tackle, completely mistimed, and you would expect a booking under the circumstances. That will certainly mean a booking here. And now he's on a tightrope. And they need to get tighter. Just a reminder, we have more absorbing action from the Premier League coming. He's in here. Surely. And a goal in the lead again. Fully deserved. Well, here it is again. It's all about the pace in transition. They were so quick to get out from the back. And he chooses to use power in the finish. Not much chance for the keeper when it's hit that hard. Everton are the team chasing the game. Let's see how they fare on that front. Well, news coming through of a penalty. Alan McAnally can fill us in. It's a penalty for Arsenal. A slight delay as the ref clears the defenders. Here he comes. Oh, he went for massive power off the crossbar and blasted over. 15. Well, it could be on for him here. Well, hey. Tremendous defending to stonewall him. And there the attack ends for now. Let's join Alan McAnally because I'm hearing there's been a goal in the Leeds United match. Alan. It's a third goal for Arsenal. 64 minutes played, 3-0. Cheers again, Alan. It's opening up for them. And this time, it's in!
Well, the offside flag has been raised. No goal. Well, it was close, but he just went a little bit too early. Number 10, Duffy Sigerson. Coming onto the pitch, number 21, Andreas Gomez. James Rodriguez. Well, that is how to play advantage. It's good-looking play from James Rodriguez. This is the home of live football, EA TV. And how about this for live action coming up? The Champions League quarter-final first leg. It's Manchester United against Atletico. Yeah, the quarter-final of any competition is a big game. So many teams have fallen by the wayside. Which one of these next two are going to lose their grip? Should be a cracking game, Derek. Well, it's really important the players try and recognise this noise in the ground and use that to get an equaliser. Well, as you can see, United haven't had too much of the ball, but they won't mind with that. They're winning this game. They're sucking their... My goodness, the importance of getting there was not lost on the keeper. Right, let's change gear, because a goal has been scored at Villa Park. Alan McAnally can tell us more. It's a goal for Aston Villa. 77 minutes, please. 2-1. Thank you, Alan McAnally. Well, time is against them. They have work to do. Throw-ins given. And a substitution in the offing. Mo Adams. Lingard lost it. The players are using this energy from the crowd to drive them forward time after time to get back into this. This could square the game. And still an opportunity. And I think the threat has been averted. And the keeper caught there. A corner kick, and who knows, this might represent the last chance to grab an equaliser. And firing it into the area. I think of the grand scheme of things, he's going to be terribly proud of that headed attempt. Well, heading practice in training next week, that was pretty average, to be fair. Inside the final two minutes of this contest. Look at Dinia. Well, can they turn one of these attacks into a goal? Andre Gomes. Oh, nice ball over the top to chase. And the assistant referee has raised his flag. Offside. Good work to win it back high up the pitch. And there it is, the final whistle. A result to please Man. Hi there, have you got a minute for a question? That'll be all. Muchas gracias por esperar. Enseguida pasaremos a las preguntas. Damos por...